strike up the band 19 minutes past eight and you can join the mighty 1090 this saturday at qualcomm stadium for aztecs fan fest with san diego state football We'll be on site with a live broadcast, free Mighty 1090 gear, and great prizes. You can get all the info at themighty1090.com, keyword FanFest. Let's talk San Diego State football. Hacksaw and Hayworth, San Diego sports leader, the Mighty 1090. Rocky Long, head coach with us tomorrow. Red and black scrimmage, Qualcomm Stadium, Aztec FanFest free, open to the fans. Rocky, how do you feel your camp's gone two-plus weeks in? I, I believe that we're doing what we're supposed to do. I, I think we've had real good, good practices up till now. We're trying to develop some depth, and so we're getting to evaluate a lot of guys. And the only way to really evaluate them is to go live, and that's why we're having this scrimmage. And when you go live tomorrow, I know that we've got some questions in terms of injuries offensively, and, of course, your old buddy, Bob Toledo taking over the O, but coach, given your background in defense, I take a look at your depth chart and the interesting way you designate a couple of defenders on your team. Uh, Warriors and Aztecs, tell us about that designation, why you give those positions those names. Well, it's kind of a hybrid defense, and, and there's uh, positions that aren't the normal, you know, they're, they're all three of them are safeties. So instead of having a strong safety and a free safety or a weak safety and a strong safety, which most people have, since we have three of them, we designate them Warriors and Aztecs. The Aztec is the middle safety, or in most people's defenses, the free safety. The Warriors are like strong safeties, but we have a strong safety on both sides of the ball. So you change the schemes a little bit, the responsibilities a little bit, and it's been pretty effective for you, huh? Well, it, it works most of the time. I mean, <laughs> it has a lot to do with if you have good players or not. Oh, yeah. That, that <laughs> always helps, doesn't it, Coach? Yeah, yeah it does. Uh, Rocky, sidebar question to that. I remember early in the Rocky Long era, Coach screaming and yelling, can't anybody here understand this defense? It takes a while. Does it take a special type of player intellect to cope with a three-three-five package that you run? I don't think it takes a special player, but it, but it is unusual. And in my opinion, uh, it's one of the most complicated college defenses being run today. I mean, because you have strong safeties or warriors that end up being linebackers. You have Aztecs that end up being linebackers. You have linebackers that end up being defensive ends. You have guys at the line of scrimmage that either drop in coverage. I'm talking about defensive linemen that either drop in coverage or they cover a back out of the backfield or they cover the tight end man-to-man. So it's it's very similar to what some of the pro teams do in their nickel package. And they have them all day long, and we only have them for two hours a day. So it's very complicated. It takes a kind of an experienced guy to play in this defense. And it would sound to me, Coach, like you got to have some special athletes, some versatile athletes to play this kind of defense. You, you do, especially in the secondary. I mean, uh, and you kind of design the defense around the kind of players you have. Like our starting Aztec is Nat Berhey, and he's more of a defensive back guy, so so you very seldom use him in a linebacker position. So you'll blitz a strong safety or a warrior off the edge as a linebacker, and that stays in coverage. But we've had players in the past that were more like linebackers that played that position, so you would drop them down into a linebacker position and let the strong safeties be the defensive back. So it adjusts by the personnel you have in your program. And Rocky's looking for the next Brian Urlacher. That was the star <laughs> he developed at New Mexico. Rocky Long with us. Talk to the Aztecs. San Diego sports leader, the Mighty 1090. Tomorrow, 5 p.m. is the scrimmage. The festivities at the Qualcomm Stadium free. The gates open at 3.30. Hey, Rocky, a quick comment, if you will, about some, some player situations. Who is the lead back behind Adam Muwema? Have you found one yet? We have not, uh, and we've had a couple guys uh, with some hurts, pains, and all those sort of things that haven't played very much. Chase Price is one of them. Uh, now we have a couple freshmen that are in the mix because they've looked really good in practice. We have actually four guys competing to be the backup to Adam. And uh, a scrimmage like we're going to have tomorrow is of utmost importance to see if those guys can play when someone's really trying to tackle them. Coach, clue us in on your checklist tomorrow. Obviously, you got your buddy Bob Toledo running the offense, but you're in charge of the entire program. If we look at the Rocky Long checklist for tomorrow's red and black scrimmage, what will we see on it? Well, I mean, we're going to do a lot of special teams early before we actually start scrimmaging. We're going to do a lot of special teams live, which we don't do but once during a camp. Uh, so we're going to try to find out who can cover kicks, who can return kicks, 
Uh, we're going to find out if we can kick field goals. We're going to find out what kind of punters we have. And then after that, it's to de- find who our backup quarterback is, who our backup running back is, and probably uh, who our backup Aztec is. Has anybody claimed the starting quarterback jobs yet? The, those were the areas that you had huge holes two weeks ago. No, and we're going we're to rotate about six guys in tomorrow's scrimmage to try to figure out who our three best are. You got a lineup. Uh, week two of the season, you're heading to Columbus, Ohio, and then uh, you get a week off, and week three, Oregon State comes in. Coach, I don't have to tell you, these are programs nationally ranked. I know playing tough teams gets you better, and I know you're going to take them one at a time. You're not you're not uh, turning your back on the opener against Eastern Illinois, but you got a schedule here. In addition to the Mountain West, the guys you play in from outside, this this is not an easy schedule. No, it's a tough schedule. We have, uh, in my estimation, five preseason top 25 teams on that schedule. I think uh, there's three, Fresno State, Boise State, and and uh, I'm forgetting one of them. San Jose State are uh, probably top 25 programs coming into the season, too. And then, like you said, Ohio State and Oregon State are in the top 25. So Ohio State might be number two in most polls. So, yeah, yeah it's a tough schedule, but uh, – when you're trying to develop a program and make it better, you have to play good people to prove that you belong. Good stuff, Rocky. We'll see you out at the yard. Thanks again for being with us. Of course, we're looking forward to talk to the Aztecs every Friday morning as the regular season gets started. We'll see you tomorrow night. I appreciate it, guys. Thanks for having me on.